Why do related rates problems matter? What can you do with them? Why should you care? All right, let's let's go over that real quick. So related rates problems, they involve multiple quantities changing over time, connected by some kind of relationship like geometric or physical. And the derivative d dt measures the instantaneous rate of change of a quantity. So let's go over the four step method that I use. So step one, identify the relationship such as a equals s squared. Step two, differentiate with respect to time. So that just be d dt of a equals d dt of s squared. And we've done that many times in this series. Step three is substitute known values. So you can insert the dx dt, dv dt, whatever we know, whatever is given in the problem, that's where we substitute it in. And then step four, we solve for unknowns. So we probably have to rearrange some stuff algebraically, check for signs, and to solve stuff. So that's the four-step method that we've been using this whole series. Hope that's been helpful. Some of the key formulas that we've used, like circles or squares and rectangles. Obviously, a equals s squared, and then you differentiate with respect to time. You get dA dt equals 2s ds dt. And then there's circles or spheres like a equals pi r squared turns into dA dt equals 2 pi r dr dt and then there are things like ladder problems Pythagorean theorem so x squared plus y squared equals l squared turns into 2x dx dt equals 2y, or rather, plus 2y dy dt equals 0. All these things that we've been using. So just the takeaways. So always differentiate before plugging in numbers. Think of one rate causing the others to change. And use geometry and keep track of signs. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.